Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to do the unboxing of Lifand Robot Vacuum. So this is the Lifand Robot Vacuum model M1 and uh, it is um, I just got it recently from the Amazon and uh, this uh, they said this is having uh, a capability of uh, carpet cleaning, floor cleaning as well as the mopping as well. So some of the features have been given here. Uh, this is ultra slim, diameter is 320 millimeter, and then roller brush design, anti collision, and uh, it is having a lighter uh, navigation. And uh, it, this can do the route planning as well. And it can go back to its uh, charging base for automatic charging. And it can get uh, the over the air updates from the company and it has a nice app associated with it so that we can uh, control this uh, robot vacuum from the app itself. Let in for time, make elephant life. Some tagline from the company. Also, there is a quick guidance guide uh, it says remove the protective film, install side brushes, place the charging base in an open area, connect to the power supply and tidy up the power cord. And start cleaning, turn on the robot, I means on, O means off. And uh, it also says that cannot charge when the product is turned off. So you have to keep the product in turn on mode. And uh, Press the start pause key, start cleaning automatically. And there is also app. This is available in iOS and Android. Let's keep it aside, the box and the guidance. Okay, this has some user manual here. So just uh, read it when you get time. So uh, all the robot vacuums uh, basically cleans or works in the same way. So I'm not going to read it right now. Okay, this is the disposable dry mop. Uh, I guess uh, this can be uh, bought uh, online, but they have given five pieces disposable dry mop here. This is the robot vacuum. It looks great. This is the LiDAR scanner guys. So this basically uh, scan your um, room, your place uh, to make a map out of it. And this has a slick design and uh, it comes with two uh, brushes. Let's check it. This is the mopping material I guess. Um, this can fit on the bottom of the vacuum. This two are two side brushes and they have given two extra. So we have four side brushes so we have to fit two of them uh, below the vacuum and we can use the other two uh, later. This is a filter uh, for the vacuum. This is a standard charging adapter. And this is the charging base. So you have to keep it in an open place, uh, not obstructing by any other furniture or anything, so that the, whenever it runs out of power, the vacuum, uh, the robot vacuum goes into its charging base and charge for itself. It says input 19 volt, output 19 volt. So guys, from a close look of it, uh, it has few buttons on the top. So this is the power on off button. This is the return to charge button. And uh, this is the fixed point mode button. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi indicator. This is the LiDAR sensor. And uh, here we have the anti-collision sensor. And uh, this is the bumper strip here. On the rear side of it, we have the dustbin release button here and uh, 
we have the power on and off switch here and as you can see the back side of it we have the roller wheel we have the navigation wheel we have different set of char sensors uh, sensors here and uh, we have the places to fit our uh, uh, side brushes here I'll quickly fix two of the brushes here so here we have the water tank and the dustbin holder so if you just press here and you can open it here in this way and we have the water uh, tank here you can open this uh, button open this uh, pull and put the water here and we have the dustbin here so we can clean this area very frequently fans suggest after every two or three cleaning we have to clear this uh, dustbin The mock module can be adjusted here on the bottom rear side of the vacuum. So this can be adjusted here and on top of this we can use some of the disposable mops which can be bought online if uh, you run out of it. Here, here we have two types of filter here. So one extra pair has been given in the box so you can keep it for your future need. first recommendation is to uh, full charge okay, before using for the first time as you can see it has started charging the It can ride on top of a slightly raised carpet. So guys that's it for now, I will release another video on the Lefant app and how to control the vacuum from that app. So for now that's it and hope you uh, like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel, thank you.